everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. I oh, haven't done an update in a while because really nothing's been going on too much that I need to keep you abreast of. But I uh, figured I'd do a quick video today. It's uh, um, the 9th, the 8th, 9th of uh, 10th. Today is the 10th of November. See how much time flies? I can't even keep track of what day it is. Anyways, so it's the 10th of November and uh, just uh, we got a snowfall yesterday. Our first official snowfall. You can see we got, we had about two inches here and then some of it melted because the weather got kind of warm and then the weather dipped right back down. So it's really, it's a little cold out here. It's about 32, just above freezing. Anyways, so I thought I'd show you what the garden looks like right now. My rose bed has per has gone basically dormant, um, except for these two roses. Um, and oh, actually, I got four roses still that are awake. One, two, three, and then four. Um, but my grapevines—they've gone dormant. I've trimmed them, so hopefully next year they'll look a little better. You can barely see them wrapped over there. And uh, we did a lot of work out here. Um, with the snow, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but we put more mulch down on my medicinal herb bed. And then here on the potato bed, we put um, a big, thick layer of leaves. You can kind of see it through here. And then I just stored my tomato cans here for now, so they're out of the way. Um, <clears throat> but my big flower bed here, um, starting to go dormant. I got tansy over there that's still hanging on nice and green, and then my bee balm and gallardia here. So, and then my snapdragons, they're, they're not dead yet. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, yeah, you can't see much of anything right now with the snow. But underneath all this snow here is actually brand new mulch that we put down because the, the pasture was coming in into the garden, which is going to happen. I mean, we're right up against the pasture and there's really no other place for me to put the garden on this property. So we have to put a really thick layer of, of mulch and cardboard down to keep the grass out there and my garden safe in here. So we got all that done. The kittens are playing. Um, this bed, we got this all finished. Um, this is where my rhubarb used to be. You can see that in other videos. I used to have three big rhubarb plants here. I rehomed two of them, and then the other one I moved back over there. It's covered under the snow right now. So this is brand new bed um, that opened up. We put the uh, cardboard down and then layered with a lot, a lot of leaves. And then we'll add more leaves and stuff to it later. Smoke bomb could barely make it through. It's kind of funny. But you can see that uh, my Brussels sprouts, they're still here. They're not quite dead yet. They're a little droopy because it's cold, but uh, I didn't pull them yet because the sprouts are still really tiny. And then some more snapdragons. One of the things that we did do though um, is around my sage, um, I put the tires and um, they're filled with uh, leaves to insulate the roots of the sage so the sage comes back next year. And then right here I have this marked off where I have my mullein. This is the one that actually grew this year. And then I've got two more mullein here and then some carrots that I'm hoping will come back so I can get some seeds. But around all my sages, because I have one that's two years old and it's huge, but uh, these guys are brand new. In order to keep them um, from dying in the winter, I put the tires, and the tires used to be what I had potatoes in along the fence line there. I used to have t uh, tires. Um, I put them around the plants and then stuffed them, I mean stuffed them full of leaves to insulate those roots so they'll survive the winter. So you can see I have a tire there and a tire there. So yeah, they're insulating. Um, the roots of the sage. And then here I have my garlic planted. This is where my beans were um, this year, but now I have garlic planted right in here. And I'll be putting um, a uh, cattle panel over this. And this will be where my pumpkin grows as well this year. Um, not sure if I'm gonna use these arbors this year. 
um, where they're at for beans uh, because beans have a tendency to spread a fungus if you keep planting beans. So this might sit this year, um, this arbor. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use it. And then this arbor too, um, this I'll, I'm going to probably double it because the way that I had the bed, it used to be halfway, um, halfway was where there was a bed against the uh, pasture and then this was a walkway here. Now this is just a straight up walkway and so I might actually double my trellis here. Um, I'm not sure yet. That's the thing about uh, the winter time and when snow comes, it covers everything. So you kind of have a clean slate and you can go, oh, I'll put this over here or that. I pulled up some of my kale, some of it I've left. I've got um, garlic planted right here. I've got the forks here so the cats quit digging it up. <clears throat> and then I have parsley under the snow and things like that. But yeah, there's my Actually, that's three years old now, but you see how big that guy is. And uh, sage, if you let it uh, go over the winter and you keep it insulated, it will actually come back. So that's why I've really insulated it. Same with my hydrangeas. I'm actually going to be transplanting these next year out of the garden. I'm going to be moving them. But um, this, this will get stuff full of leaves and it'll help insulate that a little better. And then in here, I have my pots. I have two pots of carrots that are sitting actually inside the tire. And again, it's stuffed with leaves because I want the carrots that are in the pot to come back next year and uh, give off seed. So I'm trying to keep the, the roots from actually freezing that are in the pots. <clears throat> the pots actually look like this over here. So, but they have full grown carrots in it. So I just stuck the pots into the tire and then stuffed it. So that's what it's looking like right now. Kind of bare, kind of dismal, kind of pretty at the same time though. I like winter because of the cleanness of the snow. My elderberries are starting to die back so you can see what they actually look like. And that one. Then my marshmallow. That did really good this year. Um, I'm excited about that. It'll come back because it, it's where it's at. It's the perfect habitat for the marshmallow. This area gets really marshy, which is why we used it as enclosures for our, our poultry because it wasn't really good for anything else. So, but they're enjoying it. Um, we just put down a huge um, uh, bed of sawdust uh, because again, the, this area gets kind of marshy. And so we uh, put on a nice bed of sawdust and they seem to like it. And somehow we got a chicken that got in with the ducks, but we'll move her later. So yeah, so that is what's going on in November here in Michigan land. So um, I hope you that you continue to follow me as we get ready to start next year. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting more gardening videos between now and next year or not, or uh, maybe some health videos because I'm going to be switching it up this winter and really trying to get my health in shape. So I might uh, be posting things about my health journey, um, different recipes and things like that. We'll see how that goes as uh, the winter draws on. But I do want to thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like my videos, always make sure to hit that like button and uh, leave comments and questions below. And if you want to keep updated on what's going on here at my homestead, um, click the subscribe button. And that way you keep kind of informed on what's going on here. Like I said, right now, nothing too much. Just bedding down and getting ready for uh, the winter and then uh, regrouping again for next year. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Bye bye.